confused about which iPad you should buy in 2022? Let's get rid of this confusion right now. Hello all, I'm Nikhil from iGeeks blog and today at Apple event peak performance, Apple announced the all new iPad Air 5 with M1 chip. That blew our minds and confused us about which iPad we should buy in 2022. The all new iPad Air 5, iPad mini 6 or 11 inch iPad Pro 2021. Let's compare them and decide which one will be the best pick for you. The first comparison is between chip. iPad Air 5 and iPad Pro have M1 chip with 8 core CPU, 8 core GPU, 16 core neural engine and 8 gigs of RAM. While on the other side the iPad mini 6 houses an A15 Bionic chip with 6 core CPU, 5 core GPU, 16 core neural engine and 4 gigs of RAM. This clearly highlights that iPad Air 5 and iPad Pro 2021 has a better chip with better performance. These three iPad models have Wi-Fi 6, Bluetooth 5.0 and 5G support where the Pro model houses MMWare for the 5G. Now let's talk about the front camera. The iPad Air 5 and iPad mini 6 have 12 megapixel ultra wide camera at the front and support center stage. But over here iPad Pro wins the race as it has a 12 megapixel true depth camera that supports the center stage feature and unlocks iPad with face ID feature. And still, the Touch ID is there in iPad Air 5 and iPad Mini 6 to unlock the device. If we talk about the rear cameras, both iPad Air 5 and Mini 6 have the same camera, no changes. 12 megapixel wide camera with 4K video recording support up to 60 frames per second and auto image stabilization. On the other hand, iPad Pro 2021 is ahead of this model and houses a dual camera setup of 12 megapixel wide camera and 10 megapixel of ultra wide camera. And with dual camera setup, it also houses a LiDAR scanner. Now let's look at the display of this iPad. iPad mini 6 has 8.3 inches liquid retina display, iPad Air 5 has a 10.9 inches liquid retina display and 11 inches of iPad Pro has a 11 inches liquid retina display. Many of us are confused that the 11 inches iPad Pro has a mini LED display. Nope, that's not true. It has the same liquid retina display but it supports ProMotion technology and that's a major difference between the latest iPad Air, Mini 6 and Pro. You might think there is a no major difference between iPad Air and Pro as one has a 10.9 inches of display and the other has 11 inches of display which is so close. That's true. But the difference is the bezel and the iPad Pro has a smaller bezel compared to the iPad Air 5 and it's not that noticeable. Now let's talk about the storage capacity. iPad Air 5 and iPad mini 6 offer 64 and 256 GB of storage. And iPad Pro offers minimum 128GB of storage and the catch is when you buy an 11 inch iPad Pro with 1 or a 2TB of storage capacity that has 16GB of RAM. But of course that comes with a high price tag. Moving to the audio department wherein iPad Air 5 and Mini 6 has a dual microphone setup and two stereo speakers. Whereas iPad Pro has a 5 studio quality microphones and 4 speakers. Now let's compare the most important part of battery backup and there is a no difference. Every latest iPad model, iPad Air 5, iPad mini 6 and iPad Pro offers up to 10 hours of battery life for web surfing and watching videos. Hence, experience for a battery backup will remain the same for all the models. But do you know what enhances our experience of using an iPad? Let me tell you and that is magic keyboard support with a trackpad which iPad mini 6 does not support and only support second generation of Apple Pencil and it's fair as it has a smaller display and using a small size keyboard will not be a great experience. And now we have come to the most exciting part of this video, the price of these iPad models. All new iPad Air 5 starts from 599 iPad mini 6 start from 499 and 11 inches iPad Pro starts from 799 which includes an iPad, 1 meter USB type C charging cable and 20 watt of USB C power adapter. Thanks team Apple for offering a power brick in the box unlike iPhones and that will definitely help us to make the decision which iPad should we buy. So let's find out which iPad model is perfect fit for you. If you have a budget of 499 then I would recommend spending a little more and going for iPad Air 5. If you want to have an iPad but do not like the big screen size, you should surely buy an iPad mini 6 without any second thought. 
if you are a student or a graphic designer and you want to buy an iPad with a big screen size, better performance, that is on a budget too, then go for iPad Air 5. And if you are a pro who wants better performance, more storage, then you should go for iPad Pro. And that's it. Let me know which iPad you are going to buy in comments down below. Don't forget to like and share this video and subscribe iGeeks blog and turn on all the notification to never miss such great content from us. Along with that, download our all new iGeeks blog app to stay updated about everything Apple. Now allow me to say goodbye. I'm Nikhil signing off. Thanks for watching. Stay safe, stay connected.